Hi there, and welcome to another edition of the Fan Saves Helps Shop Local series. My name is Chris McCarthy, and I'm your co-host. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Aisa Danya, who is the owner of Primary Prevention Practitioner. Hi, Danya. Or, hi, Aisa. Hey there. I'm good. I'm good. I knew I was going to mess that up. I got so close. You're close. <laughs> Um, why don't you begin by telling us about your business? Um, I'm a holistic practitioner. I've been practicing uh, for about a decade. Um, I started off small in um, European holistic aesthetics, and then I became a graduate of Ontario College of Traditional Chinese Medicine, as well as um, working uh, towards a doctrine um, in metaphysical sciences. I just gained my master's actually in metaphysical sciences. Wow. My plan is to become a metaphysician so I can help with people, continue to help with people and develop further and further along the way how as a holistic practitioner I can work together. The people are a very active part in their own medicine rather than uh, I suppose the allopathy uh, direction which is usually the doctors telling the patients what to do. In holistic medicine, the patients tell me what they want to do, and then I discover where they're at, what their roots are, and really hone in on how we can go about that. And just like traditional Chinese medicine, for example, there's a variety of ways to come about someone's wellness. And it always depends on their environment, what they're doing. So my job is to help find the best enabling pathway towards their betterment. That's really cool. Um, I know a lot of small businesses across Canada and really across the world have really been hit hard by the COVID-19 crisis. I'd venture to say that this might have increased business for you. How has it kind of affected your business and how have you been managing during this whole crisis? Well, um, I had just um, been moving into the Kawarthas previous the, uh, I think I was, we were here by end of December, beginning of January. And in the middle of winter, as all Canadians know, you don't really open a business unless, of course, it's for snowshoes or, <laughs> you know, tobogganings. <laughs> so my plan was to open a business in the, in the spring, in the summer, in a physical location. But heaven's mercy, there's no way to be able to do that at this point. So it really slowed my being able to come out and being a part of a community um, but it also forced me, like everyone else, to start looking at what we can do online. So I developed uh, a lot of things online previously, and I just added to them. So now I have like 30 online services, and I have over 25 modalities that I can work with in real life or online. So Amazing. I'd say it's kind of, it's kind of a half-half for me. If I had to say that I needed to make a living to support myself, um, my business would probably crash. But because I've been working it out of my own home for a while and having practice spaces or office spaces here, I've been able to give sliding scale to a lot of people because I'm not just the only one who's suffering. I know everyone's suffering, but people who need wellness often can't afford a full price treatment, never mind six or seven that they might need or the support or the online consultation they might need. So it's really made me flexible towards others' needs more, if that could be even possible, because that's my job, you know. Yeah, for sure. And maybe just building on that answer, right now people can go on fansaveshealth.ca, they can buy gift certificates for your business. What can people do with those gift certificates? Like what kind of services can you um, provide for those gift certificates? Well, um, like I said, I do have a variety of things online as well as in real life. So the benefit is I have options for them. They can use those gift certificates pretty much as soon as they want. And I can do any number of the online, 30 online services that I provide. Or they can wait until I'm open uh, once we start moving and flowing and they want some real life contact. And then I can do a case study for them, draw them a you are here map physically, like mentally, emotionally. You know, what's your overall health? Where are you at? And where do you want to go? So I can do a variety of things right now. and whenever this whole world starts moving again. Yeah. 
Amazing. If someone wanted to learn more about your business, where could they go to get more information? Um, my main umbrella website is uh, www.primarypreventionpractitioner.com. Bit of a tongue twister, as you were saying, but <laughs> it, it's, it's um, got, I have in my primary prevention practitioner an umbrella of my online services my in real life services, even my spiritual temple, learning how to be alone services. I am all around trying to be about holism, which is including your environment, your mental capacity, your physical capacity, your diet, what you eat and what you feel about how you're living and who you're living with. It has to be inclusive of all things. So therefore my umbrella is also offering those options for people. Fantastic. And if you could speak directly to your current patients uh, or people that have been supporting you throughout this journey, like what would you want to say to them directly? I'd want to say, blessed be, look at you go. We are <laughs> so strong together here, doing so much work on ourselves in this time of being locked down. And if I would say anything, I would be saying, please take care of your mental well-being in this time keep your immune system strong. Um, I highly recommend what Michel Chrétien, uh, who's just recently been indoctrinated into the Scientific Hall of Fame in Canada, he has been working on a quercetin study, and quercetin is already on the shelves. It's like a wide-spectrum antiviral, and he has been doing so much work to show us that this beautiful quercetin antihistamine and natural anti-inflammatory can really help our immune system. So in this time of people with crises, wondering how they're going to feel, how they can protect themselves. I would say those are the things that I would want to share that you're not alone. There is stuff out there right now and Canada is doing really well, leading the way in my opinion. Well, I says I want to thank you so much for your uh, time today and your positive and optimistic outlook. I get such a good vibe from talking to you and uh, I want to remind all the listeners out there to everyone to stay home, stay healthy and shop local. Thank you, Isis. Thank you.